this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play of The Last Guardian! Hello, Trico. Um, if you remember, the last episode ended in a bit of a weird way because the game basically broke. <laughs> it got to a point where I was trying to pull this lever and then the game would say that it needed to download more of the game, even though I'd already downloaded it. Um, I then bought the disc version of the game and I tried playing it with that and it did the same thing. Even when I did it offline, it basically didn't let me play the game at all. It said I needed to install an update. Then when I went to install an update, it said I had the most up-to-date version. And then I had to delete the game and then re-download the game, reset the PlayStation 4 and... It now seems to be working. I was able to, to get through this gateway. So hopefully we're going to be fine from now on out. But uh, if you do have the, the same problem uh, with this game or kind of any other game, that's the way I fixed it. I deleted the game and then downloaded it again, reset the PlayStation 4, and it seems to, to be working now. So all uh, right, then we can continue moving forward, uh, I guess, then. It looks like we've... Uh, we found our way into a bit of a labyrinth here. It looks like there's quite a lot of different routes to, to go. It looks like this is... This is probably the the way I was supposed to, to go to, I assume. And it looks like... Am I going to have to climb over this stuff? I'm not sure. Let's, let's see if Trico can get down here. Because if he can fit down here, hopefully I can just stand on his back. And then <laughs> he can just take us where we need to, to go. Like, that's, that's often the solution, isn't it? When it gets to a point... Or I don't know where I need her to go. It often ends up being jump on the big cat dog thing, and then he is going to be able to to take you to to where you need to go. So so let let's give that that strategy a, a go then, shall we? Let's uh. Oh, where am I? Can you see where am I? Come on, keep climbing, climbing up. If I just hold up, eventually I'm going to make my way up to the 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 top. <laughs> right, Trico, are you are you going to to head anywhere? Is he, is he about to jump somewhere? Oh, he's looking around the place. Let's see if there's there's anywhere that I can jump to from him. I might just need to, to jump down into that big open room, maybe. I can't actually see anything right now is the, the problem. Right. I definitely don't think this is what I'm supposed to do. Seems as I can't see anything. Oh, no, actually, wait a minute. I have I've jumped to somewhere. Okay, I've landed up here. I don't know if there's... No, I don't think there's really any, anywhere else I can jump from uh, from here then. Right, let's just uh, let's just jump down into the, the room then. Uh, hopefully that's not going to hurt me too bad, is it? Can I survive that? Okay, luckily I uh, I have a very good jumping skills. I bent my legs as I landed. Oh no, oh no, there's these guys. Oh no, they're all hiding. Trico, 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 quickly please. Quickly, let, let's try and just jump up on his back if I can. And just stay away from all of these things. So... Trico generally does a pretty good job of battling these things, but he did get hurt last time he battled them. So hopefully that doesn't happen this time. Can you see me? I'm just like, I'm just on his belly at the moment. There we go. Let's just try and climb up onto his back <laughs> and just try and stay awake. I don't, I don't think there's anything I can do against them. Like in terms of as just me, the boy. I don't think there's anything I can do against these guys. I think uh, I just need to, to rely on Trico to, to try and take them out. And uh, yeah, he generally does a, a pretty good job uh, of doing that. So let's just uh, hang on as tight as I can to, to Trico's back and uh, wait until they're all taken out. And I think that was the last one. I think that was the, the last one destroyed. And you can see they kind of... There's kind of all this darkness that comes out of them as well once they've been defeated. I don't know. Is, Tr is Trico hurt again? Let, let, let's jump down. Let's see. Is, is he okay? Oh no, he's all stressed out. I'm, I'm gonna need to, to calm him down, I think. Well, let's um, let's give him a oh, steady on. Let's give him a, a bit of, of a stroke and let's try and uh, and calm him down a little bit because he is quite understandably worked up after that battle. It is quite difficult to <laughs> to climb up him though because I'm trying to I'm trying to climb up his arm and he keeps shaking. Let's just try and stroke his arm if I can. Is that gonna calm him down? Uh, desperate to calm down the beast, I stroked and petted him ferociously. Thinking back, it seemed almost that stroking in different place or places elicited uh, different responses. Ah, okay, so so where do I need to stroke him now? Let's, let's try and stroke him on the, the back now. Is that Oh, there we go. Okay, so to calm down, stroke on the back. That's, that's what I'm beginning to, to learn. Right. It's just funny hearing, like... Him talking about petting ferociously. You think of petting like petting like an animal. Like, ah, pet the little animal. But it's like, no, we're going to pet ferociously. Yeah. And all oh, there is a um, there is a barrel over here as well. I know uh, uh, another way to, to make Trico very happy as well is, uh, yeah, using his stomach. And hello. Look at him just staring at the barrel as I wander around. Here you go, Trico, you big lump. Eat up your barrel. Oh, look at that. He caught it midair. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Right then. Let's uh, let's start having a, a look around our surroundings then and see what we can do. So there's another one of these doors. So I found one of these doors earlier. And I assumed I'd need to go through it, but I haven't opened it up. Unless I'm going to kind of go back to these same areas later and maybe... 
have some way of opening up all of these doorways, possibly? Is there- is this a thing here? Is that a thing? I, th I think this is part of- oh yeah, this is one of the, um, this is like one of the- the helmets from these- these guards. I don't know if I need this for for anything. Let's just uh, let's just drop that down there for now. I can kind of pick that up again later on if I think I'm going to to need it. Uh, but for now, I just need to to work out where I'm supposed to to head to next. I don't think there's there's anywhere down here for me to go. I think I think the only way to go is up from uh, from here on out. So let's uh, let's look up a little bit high then and see and see where yeah. There's definitely something up there. I just kind of, it's always just the case of trying to work out where you start from. Like, once you've started working out where you need to climb from, it's generally easy enough, but you just need to work out where to start from. And oh no, I think there's a, I think there's a spear in Trico. I think I found where I need to go. I think it's where Trico's standing. But let, let's see if we can uh, grab this, uh, this spear and get it out first as well. He doesn't seem particularly bothered by it, to, to be honest, but <laughs> we want to go and get rid of it all of the same. I don't want him to, to end up being hurt. So let's go and, uh, and uh, yank this, uh, this spear out if we can. Then yeah, let's go and uh, climb up into the, the rafters and do a bit of parkour and uh, see where I need to, to end up getting to. Big pool! Big pool. I'm sorry. I know. I know it hurts. I know it hurts. It's okay. Do you need to be petted again? Can I do some f uh, furious petting again? Some ferocious petting? <laughs> you see, he seems to, to generally be okay. Right. If you stand up a little bit now, I'll be able to, to jump to here. So is this? This is different, isn't it? This isn't where I entered from. I think I've now got to the other side of the room. I can't see anywhere that way. I need to climb it. Maybe I don't need to climb across this room. Maybe I just needed to, to, to get from one side to the, the other. Is this... Is this where I came from? It looks very similar. I, I don't think it is though. No, I don't think I went up any stairs at all. These aren't stairs. There used to be stairs here, but the stairs have now gone. Is that like a big drop? I can't even tell. It's too dark. Uh, oh, quite a big drop. Oh, so drop into water. I couldn't even tell that. Right, let's uh, let's call for for Trico. Let's see if he can follow behind me. No, 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 no. Oh, I've been captured. Is there any way I can escape, Trico? I'm calling for him. I I, I think I'm done for. Can I- is there anything I can do? Oh, oh, I managed to- I managed to shake away. I, I managed to shake away and escape. Oh, no, no, don't go that way. No, I got picked up again. All right, she press all the buttons as fast as I can, I think, to try and escape. Oh, no, my vision's fading. My vision's fading. Right, as soon as I escape, I need to run. Where's Trico? I'm calling him. I'm calling him, but he's not coming. Is he- is he gonna be following behind me? I don't know if he can fit through where I am. Right, let's just run. Okay, seems to be a dead end here. What about the water? Can they go in the water? Yep, they can definitely go in the water. Oh, here's Trico. Trico, save me. Save me, save me. Oh, he's angry. He is angry. Let's, uh, let's just go and chill out behind him. That was scary. Like, I wasn't too scared by those armored things before, like, when I was, um, with Preco, because it's hard to be scared of something that small. Well, something normal size when you've got a giant thing like this. <laughs> but being down here by myself, they're absolutely terrifying then. Right, it looks like they've all been dealt with. Right, rub the back, rub the back. That's what I've learned. Okay, I'm stroking the back. It's okay, Trico. It's okay. Just some little- no, no, so- no, Trico, it's fine, look, it's fine. I'm giving you a back rub, it's supposed to calm you down- no! There were just some little sol soldiers, though, just some little- little armor, are you okay? I think- maybe- may do you think I need to stroke him somewhere different every time then? Because last time I did stroke the back and that calmed him down. Let's kind of maybe go up a little bit closer to the- the neck, maybe at all- is he calmed down? Okay. Yeah, I think it worked. Just above the wing. That was, a uh, that was able to, to calm him down. Thank you once again for saving me. Whoop. All I can see now is a giant face. Let's go and uh, jump off him now, then. <laughs> and let's work out where we need to go. Looks like there's a, a, a place up here. Maybe this is where I was supposed to go, then. Maybe this was the, um, the way I was supposed to escape them. Like, I can't imagine them climbing. So maybe that's gonna be a, a nice way to, to escape from them. I'm on edge now. Like, most of the game, I've kind of just been you know, blissfully wandering around, jumping about, solving puzzles and not worrying. Now I'm gonna be like, looking around every corner just expecting one of those things to, to jump out. Because they do jump out suddenly, don't they? Like now! Like first, like I would just be running down this corridor, not thinking twice. Now I'm, now I'm really cautious. Let's edge my way forward. I'm gonna play the rest of the game at this speed. Only joking, only joking. <laughs> you can see Trico there sneaking behind me and all. There have been some around here. I can see there are some spears around here. I don't seem to be able to pick the spears up. I can pick the helmets up, but not the spears. And what's this? What is this a trap? Trico's been trapped. Oh, I think his tail's been caught as well. I need to break him out. Because if if the um if the the uh, the guards find me now, then I'm gonna be stuck. And I know that's probably a selfish thing to, to think about, considering the fact that Trico's just been trapped. But I need I need to break him out. Looks like I need to to get to the other side of that cage there. Then that's gonna be the the way for me to to escape. But 
I'm going to be very careful now because I am I am feeling a little bit all alone. And look, there's more of these doors that I can't open as well. I have no idea how I'm supposed to get to the, the other side of them. Oh, look how sad he is. I hate it when he's all sad. Right, I, th I think I need to open this door somehow. Because I'm kind of I'm kind of trapped a bit as well. Like I can't go back the way I came from. If I stand on this pressure plate, does that do anything? No, I don't think uh, I I do anything to to help weigh it down. Well, let's go and try and climb up on Trico and see is there anywhere I can jump to from uh, from the top of his head. Let's just kind of climb up and have a bit of a look around. I don't think there's anywhere anywhere up here for me to to go. Then I don't think I can climb up that cage here either. The only thing is, oh, oh, this way. Okay, there was just a little gap that I just couldn't see. Okay, sorry if you saw the gap before I could. <laughs> like, it's funny, when I go back and, like, watch back any of the old clips, I kind of see how obvious some of the things are. Right, I'm worried, because I think i got to pull this lever, but there's this guy standing right here, and I'm scared that as I pull the lever, I'm going to bring him to life. So I'm going to be ready to run, run, run as fast as I can. And oh, no, it happened. It happened. I caught it. Go, go. No, 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 no. No, I got caught. I got stuck on the doorway. Put me down. Press all the buttons. Press all the buttons. Right, I need to escape the second I get dropped and just head straight to Trico. Hopefully, he's still going to rescue me even though he's kind of stuck where he is. And oh, there's another one. Oh, there's loads of them. Oh, no, I went the wrong way. Went the wrong way. Keep running. Oh, no, he's just he's chasing me like a zombie just with his arms stretched out. Right, climb onto Trico's back. That's the safest place for, for me to, to be, I think. There we go. Trico was able just to, to completely crush that one. There were, though, a whole load of them just down this corridor here. I could just see one, like, like look at the end. You can just see the silhouette of one standing there. This is really scary. Right, this corridor, I'm going to sneak down like this. <laughs> I think when I get into the, the light, they're going to wake up and they're going to chase me. Okay, straight back to Trico, straight back to Trico. I'm going to get you out of here, I promise, Trico. I'm going to make this worth it for you. No, no. Oh, look, they're picking up all of the spears. They're picking up the spears from the ground. I wish I could have picked them up. I don't know. Oh, no, they're sticking them into Trico. Right, what I can do then... If I can, oh no, that one's gone straight for me. What I can try and do is pull out the, the spears as he's fighting, uh, just to, to try and help him out. There we go, Look, there's a spear stuck in right where I am. Let's try and pull that out, and then that way I feel like I'm at least doing something to, to help out uh, during the, the battles. Let's go and yank that one out if I can. So I think that they're not just hurting him like because they're sharp. I think like there's some sort of magic in them as well. So I don't know if they're kind of draining his power or doing something else as well. No, there's a spear stuck into the, the wall there. One of them has a, has bad aim by the looks of things. Right, I think that's them all dealt with. But uh, I need to, of course, well, I need to calm him down. Uh, but then I also need to, to get all of the, the, the spears out. So I think calming him down first is going to be the way to, to go. Because it's, it's really hard to, to crawl over him while he's thrashing about like that like crazy. So let's go and try and pull that one out if I can. Come on. Big pull. Is he, is he pulling it? He's trying to. It's kind of hard to know which way to, to pull when you're being <laughs> plug around. There we go. That's that spear. I think there's one more. But let's see if we can we can calm him down. Let's go and do some ferocious petting to, to try and calm him down. There we go. Okay, he's settled. Trico is settled. Let's go and try and get the, the, the other spear uh, out uh, from down here. I believe this is the, the last one. That was pretty impressive. Considering that he was trapped and there were all of them, he did a, a pretty good job of, uh, of taking them all out there. Is the, is the one at the end of the corridor, is that one moved though? No, that one's still standing there. Do you reckon maybe that one's not evil? Let's be, uh, once again, very cautious heading down here. And let's be, let's be ready for it to, to run after me. Is it going to go after me? It's kind of just standing there. Let's, um, let's let that one be for now. Let's not get any closer because it is actually really scary just seeing it standing there. Let's see if we can free Trico first. I think this is, yeah, this has kind of got me uh, behind the, the bars that I was on the other side of earlier. So hopefully there's going to be some sort of lever or button or something to, to release him uh, to, to basically, uh, yeah, lift the, the trap back up. There we go. I think I can pull this chain back. There we go. That's him lifted up and then he can now escape. I think I just need to, to knock it back down again, but I don't want to do it yet until Trico's moved. So Trico, do you wanna do you wanna move your tail? Has, has he moved it far away? I think he's moved it far away enough. I'm not gonna drop it back on it. There we go. <laughs> I was really scared I was just gonna drop it straight back on his tail there, but there we go. Looks like uh, he is now following me. Right then, let's now go back to, to face my scary silhouetted figure at the, the end of the corridor, but with my big cat dog bird thing. And uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it makes it, as I said, not quite so scary anymore. When I got this thing on my side, it makes me not worry quite so much. He's still pretty cautious though, isn't he? He's not kind of charging it straight down. Right. Let's, uh, 
Let's run a little bit closer and keep calling. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Looks like I don't need to call him. Look at that. He just shot straight forward and just whacked him out the way. <laughs> as I said, not quite as scary as when I'm on my, uh, on my own. Right then, looks like we've made our, our way back outside. It's weird how it kind of goes from really, really dark corridors and then just kind of crazy bright areas like this. Where it's kind of almost blinding with uh, with how light it is. All right, let's go and try and uh, and uh, calm him down a little bit. Then let's go and do <laughs> look at him trying to climb, just swaling his arms around. Look at that, he's trying to grab up, but there's nothing to grab onto. He's just like, it looks like he's miming. <laughs> you know when they like pretend to climb a rope or something? It looks like he's doing that. All right, let's let's jump off here. Let's maybe try and climb up his tail. Maybe it's really hard to 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 climb up him while he's thrashing about like that. But I think the the tail might be a, a better place to, to try and climb up on. There we go. Let's get a, a good grip on the tail <laughs> as he just flings me all about. I don't think I've got any bones in my body. I think it's this is like the superhero jelly boy or something. Just the, the way I'm able to, to be flung around like that. Right, we've got to the, the back. This seems to be the, the best place to, to calm him down. And there we go. Within seconds, he's instantly calm. I wish I could be calmed down that easily. I wish any time I got, like, stressed, someone could run up behind me and just pet my back for a couple seconds, and I'll go, ah, there we go, everything's better. <laughs> right, where are we heading to now, then? It looks like I'm trying to get to the, the other side of, uh, of this area. Uh, there was a bridge here at some point. That bridge is now gone, so it looks like that option for crossing has, uh, has gone in that way, at least. Uh, there's a bit of an opening here. Um, oh, I can I can fit through the bars. Okay, looks like uh, looks like I need to to find some way of opening this up, maybe for Trico, or maybe I can just run to the other side. Then he's going to be able to to jump across. Uh, but once again. I am running off by myself, and uh, yeah, as you know, I I don't like being by myself in this game. Well, I found a bunch of um, found a bunch of barrels, so that's kind of one good thing. I can kind of slide them around a little bit. They're pretty heavy though; it's kind of hard to to move them too much. Let's not worry about kind of sliding them anywhere yet until until I really work out where it is I'm trying to slide them to. It looks like there's a whole bunch of boxes around here. Do I need to? Oh, oh Trico got here somewhere. He was able to to fit in. Trico. And there's a, a big uh, box of, uh, of your favorite food over here. If you want some num-nums, you've definitely earned it this time, Trico. Let me, let me push them to, towards them a little bit. And you go and, uh, and tuck in uh, on them. And uh, while you do that, I might just, um, I might just pop up on the, onto your back a little bit and just uh, <laughs> have a look around. Like, even if I can't jump to, to anywhere from here, it's kind of just a, a nice way to, to look around the room for, for higher up to, to work out where I need to, to go. So there is a platform up there. It looks like that might be where I need to, to get to. I think I might need to, to stand on his, uh, his head in order to, to get up to it, though. Um, I think he's about to, to eat, though. So <laughs> let's, just, uh, let's just chill out here for a little bit uh, until he's eaten his barrels. Actually, do you reckon he can open them? I don't know if he can actually open them up. I think because they're in that box. I don't know if he can actually eat any of them at all. Right. Uh, looks like uh, looks like that's not really an option. I think I just need to to get him over over here, and then I'll be able to to climb up on that thing. So let's kind of. Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to to grab on there. Yeah. Let's go and just stand over here. The beast could not find a way forward, but we had come so far together. Well, no worries. And uh, in doing so, we had developed a bond. A mutual understanding that offered us a chance of escape. Oh, no, don't move. I was just about to jump up. Okay, well, we've got a, we've got a mutual bond. Oh, I can issue commands. Move the boy while holding R1 to issue commands to the beast. Okay, so... Oh, look, I can point. I can actually say specifically where he needs to, to go now. Okay. This is better than just like randomly calling out and just, you know, just saying come to me. It looks like I can actually kind of guide exactly where he needs to, to go. Firstly, though, I think I need to, to wait for him to eat all of the, the barrels. Look, can you just put me just over there? Just put me just over there, Trico. And then just while I'm climbing, you can carry on eating them. Or or am I going to have to wait for you to, to finish your breakfast? Look, look, go, go that way. Go go closer to the pillar. Do you reckon I can guide him while I'm on the, the back of him? 
I think I can, but I think just at the moment he's just way too distracted for those, uh, <laughs> from all of those barrels. So let's, let's chill out, hang it on his head for a little bit until he's finished all of his num nums, and then hopefully I can guide him. This is gonna be so much better though. This is gonna be so much easier to, to kind of get around the place because I can just point where, like, he needs to, to go. I can basically just, like, ride him, like, as a mount now. You know, I can basically treat him, like, as a, as an oversized horse and just hopefully just stand on him and point where to, to go, and hopefully he's gonna just go there. At the moment, though, he seems to be literally moving in the opposite direction of where I am telling him to go. Look, that way! That way, good Trico, look! This way! This way, Trico! There we go, yeah! The direction you're looking in, go that way. Okay? Yeah, that's it, that way. Are you, are you gonna move? Anytime now? Just, just gonna... Just gonna stare? No, that way. Yeah, please move! Move the boy while move the boy while holding our wand to issue commands. There we go. Bit of bit of a sense of urgency next time though, Trico. <laughs> whoa! 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 Okay, let's uh let's jump back on. It looks like um I got him just to to jump up. The beast had grown accustomed to my company, so accustomed in fact that it began to mimic my movements. I ran. Jumped, capered, and caverted. And in sewing, I learned something of what the beast might be encouraged to do. Okay, so it looks like the beast is gonna. Sorry, the beast. Looks like Trico is going to. <laughs> to kind of like copy what I do a little bit. I wonder if it's gonna do it as clumsily as I, as I do it. <laughs> or it looks like it's kind of just chilling out here. It's really looking at. looking at something. Is there somewhere over here that we can go to? I'm not sure. It looks like I might be able to, to jump down this way somehow, though. So let's kind of back my way down here a little bit. Steady, steady, steady. Steady. <laughs> I'm like a little bug, aren't I? Climbing all over him like that, the way I grip on. Right, I think if I climb up here, I might be able to, to jump uh, to the, the, the ledge behind me. No! I didn't, I didn't grab on. Okay, and I ended up falling the, the entire way down. This is good though. I now can command Trico around. This is uh, gonna be incredibly useful uh, throughout the, the rest of the game. <laughs> oh no, I got a limp. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that is uh, just about the, the end of this episode here though. Uh, of course, there's gonna be a link in the description to the next episode when it is uh, online as well as a, a playlist as well. So you can see all of the, the episodes there if you want to. Uh, but for now, I wanna thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!